Hello brothers and sisters, let's get into the verse of the video. And today's verse comes from the second book of Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 and it reads, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Alright everybody, we're going to be doing another meal prep today. And just to show you what we got going on today, right? We got, I'm going to put three cups of the organic quinoa and I'm gonna mix that with five cups of organic white rice so for each cup of dry grain I added two cups of water so in total I got eight cups of dry grain so I got 16 cups of water on the stove right now I'm gonna be cooking boneless skinless chicken breast so it doesn't have fat right so I'm gonna be lightly coating that with some extra virgin olive oil to add some fat and I'm just gonna put that in a 375 convection oven and I already got the water boiling on the stove so let's get into this all right everybody so I got my water boiling and the last video I made for the meal prep I know that this is five cups of dry grain so I'm gonna go ahead and throw all that in and I'm going to add three cups of the quinoa so eight cups total of dry grain and I got 16 cups of water boiling. All I'm going to do is throw that in while I'm stirring. Let it come back to a boil. Then I'm going to let it simmer and then put the lid on and put a 15 minute timer on there and be checking the rice as I'm cooking. So I got my convection oven at 375. I got my chicken breast ready. Like I said, it's, uh, it's very lean. Doesn't have any fat on it or very little at like that. So all I did was rub some olive oil into there, both sides, and lightly coat the pans. And I'm going to throw that in the oven. I'm going to put a 25-minute timer and just keep an eye on it. All right, so my 15-minute timer went up for the rice. And remember, it's either the timer or until the water evaporates, right? So we're going to check up on that. It looks dry up on top, so let me fluff it out a little bit. And it's pretty much all the water gone so I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna cover it back up and let the steam finish the rest of the cooking process that's looking pretty good so I'm turning off the heat after 15 minutes as suggested in the instructions and there it is water's all absorbed so now I'm just gonna turn off the heat and let it finish steaming up and that leaves me seven minutes on the chicken it was recommended for 20 to 30 minutes so I put 25 minutes and then I'm gonna check up on it and then we'll go from there. Going to check our weight again. Stopped at 220.4. And this is after a month of doing this. So I'm gonna keep checking my weight, probably maybe every other every other week. So stay tuned to the channel. So when I started documenting the weight process, I started at 217. A month later, I'm at 220.4. So it's not as easy as it sounds, right? You actually gotta eat consistently and almost to the point where you're force feeding yourself. But we're gonna keep this thing going for at least another month or two. So just stay tuned and we'll see how this thing keeps going. All right, so I went for the thickest piece of chicken breast. I cut into it at 25 minutes. It was still a little bit raw. Then again at 30, could, could have cooked a little bit more. So I gave it about 33 to 35 minutes, right? So I actually ate a piece right now and it looked cooked, it tasted good, it's still kind of tender. Then I got my rice right here, still steaming. So this is the full process and then uh, I'll be plating up right now. That way uh, the full meal prep is completely done 100%. If you want your food to cool down a little bit faster, just plug the sink, put some ice, some water. We'll clean the sink first, right? We'll put some ice and some water and just put your pot in there and just let it rest. Let it cool down before you trade and put it away in your refrigerator. Remember, if you put away hot food, it can build bacteria. We don't want that, right? So just a quicker process to to cool down your food. 
All right, everybody. Six cups of the dry grain, which was the dry rice and the quinoa, and six whole boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Got me 12 trays. Leftover grain and leftover chicken breast. So remember, this is just to encourage anybody that's trying to take a chance in uh, trying to meal prep. There's nothing fancy, just keeping it simple. And I won't only be eating this, I'll also be eating oatmeal with some protein powder mixed with bananas and eggs. And for snacks, I'll probably be eating turkey jerky and nuts and seeds, which I got my own little mix of that. So look out for my other videos and just uh, follow me on this weight gaining journey, which will hopefully add up to muscle mass, right? But we'll just see how it goes and stay tuned to the channel. Thank you, brothers and sisters. God bless.